Hello everyone, Javeria here and today I'm going to be showing you how to sew these beautiful and big luggage tags that are totally going to stand out in the crowd. So let's get started! The first thing that you got to do is cut out the pattern using the printable given on the block and then using the printable you can, need to cut out the body pieces and also the two window pieces. So these are my window pieces and these are my body pieces. And this is going to be the strap. The next thing you got to do is fuse all the pieces to the interfacing, medium weight interfacing. The next thing you're going to do is fold and press the strap. So to do that, first fold the strap in a half, like this, bringing the two vertical edges together, and press. Do it till you reach the other end, and then open up the fold, bring the longer edge towards the center crease, and press again. Similarly, do it for the other side. Next, just bring the two folded edges together like this and fold again and press again. Now you can just keep it aside to sew it later. First thing you gotta do is sew along the two edges of the strap. So you're going to start from here and go all around and then come back. You're going to use a seam allowance of 1 by 4 inch or you can also use 1 by 8 inch. The thing we got to do is just bring the two right sides together and sew all along the edges leaving a small gap of around 3 inches over here to turn the right side out. So you can just hold the two things together, two pieces together using clover clips or you can use pins. If you're done, you can trim the seam allowance and chop off the edges, especially in the corners to make sure that it turns properly when you when you're turning the right side out. Make sure you trim all the seam allowance. And then you can just turn the right side out from the gap Poke the edges to make sure they're nice and sharp. You can use a tool or you can use whatever you have. I'm just using a scissor. The next step is going to be to press the thing. But for now, I'm just going to keep this aside. The next thing we're going to do is sew the two body sides together, main body pieces together, just like we uh, sewed the window piece. So the first thing you got to do before sewing the body pieces is to make sure that you attach the strap in the center. So place your strap so that the edges of the strap are roughly in the center. And then you're going to place the next piece right sides together and just pin it. Now make sure that the strap is not sticking out from the bottom. Just push it inside and go ahead and sew all around using a seam allowance of 3 by 8 inch and leave a gap of around 2 to 3 inches to turn the right side out. Okay, so here is my main body piece and I did exactly the same thing which I did here to sew them together and then I clipped the corners and turned it right side out. So now we're going to go ahead and press them. So once all the pressing is done, the next step is to top stitch all around the edges of the window piece. You can use a seam allowance of 1 by 8 or 1 by 4 inch. 
step you are gonna draw a rectangle and make a window over here so to draw the window rectangle we are first gonna place the pattern under the window piece and then you're just gonna make sure that it's centered then just flip it and using a pencil mark the edges of the rectangle on the window piece so just use your pencil to make a hole and then just mark four points just connect the dots that you just made you should have a rectangle like this next we are going to draw a cross matching the two diagonal points together with this and with this this is our diagonal lines next using your rotary cutter you're just going to cut along these lines only along the diagonal lines So here it is. Step is to fold all the triangles towards the wrong side and press to make a crease on the folded edge. When you're done, you can just trim the excess triangle to make sure that it doesn't exceed the lines All right. now we're just going to take our plastic and place it on the wrong side so that it's centered and we're going to sew along the inner rectangle so make sure that you pin it using the clover clips do not use pins because it might leave some holes. We're going to sew all around this rectangle using a seam allowance of 1 by 8 inch. So our window is done. You can see the plastic is sewn. Now we're just going to place the main piece under the window piece and we're just gonna sew them together so this is what it's gonna look like just pin it together you might want to use clover clips because it's pinning it's gonna be hard for four layers so just use clover clips and hold them together And we're only going to sew along the bottom edges so and the side edges. We're going to leave the top part open so that you can insert your name tag inside. So we're going to go from here and all around and we're going to stop till here. And you can use a seam allowance of 3 by 8 inch. There you go, your luggage tag is complete. You can just insert your name tag and you'll be ready for your next trip with your brand new luggage tag.